the network effect. That's what really drives huge results. And since joining the Creator Network, I've actually had 22,500 subscribers referred from almost 200 creators recommending my newsletter. My name is Jay Klaus. I'm the founder of Creator Science, and this is how I use ConvertKit. I started my business in 2017 and it started with a newsletter. Growing your email list was very, very challenging. There wasn't a built-in mechanism to do that. All new subscribers had to be driven by you from somewhere else. And it was a lot of work because now not only were you writing great emails, but you had to be great on Twitter or Instagram and drive people to email. Then I started realizing that a lot of my friends and peers who were doing this creator thing were using ConvertKit. Now, if you're a ConvertKit user, you can become a part of that creator network. And there are so many more people who I can reach who are recommending me because a lot of my audience are ConvertKit users because I recommend ConvertKit a lot. So I just have a much greater footprint now of people who would be willing to recommend my newsletter. Now, not all of those people stick around, but currently about 17,000 people are still there. To say three out of four subscribers after six months are still there, I think is a really high indication of the quality of people that are coming through the Creator Network. And since my newsletter is about 50,000 subscribers right now, that's a third of my current subscribers have come purely because of the Creator Network. When I first joined the Creator Network, I think one of the most important and impactful things that I did was reach out to some friends of mine who I knew were already ConvertKit users, if not already members of the network themselves. Some of them I sent a text message to because we have that level of relationship. And I said, hey, I just joined the Creator Network in case you're looking for somebody to recommend. And that helped me get the first 10 people recommending me. And that's really important because that helps you build confidence. It helps you understand how the tool works, build the systems that you feel good about. And I think it's really important, even if you don't have those relationships, to seek out the partners that you want to align with and try to build those relationships. You may go through the Creator Network portal and see people who are featured, or you might do a keyword search and find other people in your niche and subscribe to their newsletter. Maybe recommend them if you like that newsletter. And then after a couple weeks of getting their content, reading it, learning about them, reply. You know, start to build that relationship in a real way. You should think long-term. Think about this relationship as a long-term thing. Don't just email them and say, hey, would you recommend me if you don't have a relationship there yet? Build that relationship, support their content. Let them know what you think about it. Uh, start recommending them, you know, give before you uh, try and receive. I made a custom sequence in ConvertKit for subscribers who came from the Creator Network specifically because the more I can personalize the experience of joining my newsletter to how they joined, the more likely that subscriber is to stick around, to transfer some of the trust they have in that creator to me. So being able to know who referred the subscriber to me can be really powerful because then I can customize and personalize the sequence that is sent to that new subscriber. And I also didn't assume that they knew much about me. What that looked like is I took my existing welcome sequence, I duplicated it, and then I changed the copy a little bit to say, hey, you are recommended by Justin Welsh you are recommended by Chanel at Growth in Reverse. My name is Jay, I write a newsletter called Creator Science that helps you become a professional creator. If that's interesting to you, you'll get the first issue this coming Sunday. If that doesn't sound interesting to you, if this doesn't sound like something that you want, feel free to unsubscribe here. And I did that because I have always been somebody who likes to keep my list very clean, very engaged. If you're cost conscious, that also helps you reduce your overall email bill. You want people on your list who are opening, who are reading, who wanna be there. So you shouldn't be afraid of letting people know if this isn't for you, here is how you can opt out. So in the beginning, I was just using the free recommendations inside the Creator Network, which was amazing. There were 160 plus creators recommending Creator Science. I was getting literally thousands of new subscribers every week. And then I started playing around with the paid recommendations as well. 
Sometimes I hear creators go on interviews or YouTube and say things like, this is how many subscribers I have, growth has looked like this, and it's been all organic. And that's really great, but I just think to myself, well, imagine if it wasn't. <laughs> like, imagine if this is so good that this many people are joining for free, all these people are joining organically. Imagine if you put a little bit of budget behind this, what you could do, because it's only going to grow and expand what you're doing. And if you set it up right, it should be a net positive in terms of what you earn from those subscribers and what you're paying to bring them into your world in the first place. That's been a revelation. I know that I've brought in thousands of paid subscribers over the last couple of months because it has this whole set of controls to ensure that you're getting a really good fit subscriber for your newsletter. You can control which partners you accept subscribers from. You can control how many subscribers you allow each partner to send. You can control the budget that you give each partner for sending you a subscriber. And you can control your overall budget for a monthly timeline. Then you can decide what does a good subscriber look like that makes this transaction worthwhile. And that's great because that's gonna make it more likely that, that person uh, enjoys your work, gets a lot out of your work, and even purchases something. So not only is a creator network a great way to grow your newsletter through free recommendations, you can pay to acquire subscribers at a very reasonable rate, and you can get paid to recommend others. Today, I've earned about $3,000 in paid recommendations just having one of my recommendation slots be paid over the last couple of months. So if you set it up right, it's, it's kind of arbitrage. You can actually pay to acquire customers with the money that you're earning by recommending other newsletters. And that's a pretty fantastic opportunity.